Okay guys, welcome back to another super special Parsha edition. This week's Parasha is Parashat Mikay. It's welcome. Wow, we're in the snow over here. Welcome to snowy Queens, New York. This week's Parasha, we learn about Yosef HaTzadik and his son Menashe is born. And we know the Pasuk tells us, Vayikra Yosef et Sheba Bechor Menashe Ki nashani elokim et kol lamali ve kol beit avi. Yosef HaTzadik called his son what? What did he call his son? Menashe called this up in Hashem because thank you Hashem that I forgot all of the hard times the struggles the challenges it was so difficult in my father's house but boys what was so difficult in Yosef Atzadik's father's house what do you mean what happened in his father's house so as you remember when we learned Parsha in this week we saw that Yosef Atzadik had a hard time his brothers hated him he was the favorite brother he was sold by his brothers he went to Mitzrayim with all the, the with the Arabs that were bringing him there to Mitzrayim to sell him and he had a hard life in his father's house. So he asked Hashem, Hashem, thank you so much. And he told him, thank you, God. I have a karatatov to you, Akadosh Baruch Hu, for letting me forget what happened in my father's house. But let me ask you a question. Yes, I'm looking at you. Why did Yosef HaTzadik thank Hashem for forgetting what happened? So boys, the answer is that if, let's say, Yosef HaTzadik didn't forget, and he didn't forget what his brothers did. They were so mean to me. They sold me. They hated me. They weren't even jealous of my really cool coat. Then maybe Yosef Tzadik later would have revenge and would take Nekama against them. Would have revenge against them for all the not good, all the not nice stuff that they did to him. So this is why Yosef Tzadik is thanking Hashem. Thank you Hashem that I forgot everything that happened in my father Yaakov Avinu's house. And since I forgot about it, I treated them with respect. I give them food. I said, it's me, Yosef. I love you guys. I missed you guys. This is something so special. If something, God forbid, happens bad to you in class, this boy does this to you, and he does that to you, or this boy took your pencil without asking permission, or he was walking by your desk, and you know, he just hit all your stuff on your desk accidentally, whatever it was. And you said, you know what? I'm going to do that to him too. You know what? He was mean to me. He said a not nice word to me. He called me that name. I'm going to do it back to him. We have to be like Yosef HaTzadik and forget. Sometimes it's very important to forget. Do you know that the word Shachach, which means to forget in Hebrew, has the Shoresh Koach in it? Because a person who forgets is a person that has Koach. If you forget what someone did that was not nice to you, they did something that wasn't so right, and you forget about it, you say, hey, you know what? I'm about here. It's okay. He said that to me. I'm going to ignore that you are the one that truly has koach. You are the one that's strong. You are the one with the big muscles. Guys, let's learn from Yosef and Tadik to forget about some stuff that happens in life. It's okay. Gamzulatova. Forget about it. Move on in life. And we'll learn like Yosef and Tadik to be successful and to be a true Talmud Chacham and Tadik. Shabbat Shalom from Rabbi Alon. Wow. So we actually do see boys. Sometimes it's actually good to forget. Wait, what, Rebbe? It's, sometimes it's good to forget. Yes, boys, <laughs> it's good to forget the things that others do that are not so nice to us. Because when we forget about that, we could just continue going on in life and we won't have to be angry. We won't have to be sad. We won't have to even be frustrated. We could just continue living life with always a smile on our face, like exactly like Yosef Atzadik. Now let's get right back to the video, shall we?